Hey guys, MX Creations here, and today we're going to be reviewing the UCS Star Destroyer. Now, let's get into it. First off, this thing is humongous. Look how big this is. This is like one of the biggest sets um, ever. It's not like the biggest one, but it's it's pretty close. So, with all that, let's get into it. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to move the Star Destroyer right over here. Okay, so I have it set up here now. Um, I think we're gonna take a look at the box first. I think I'll do that on the ground, the floor, because I'm not moving this thing again. Okay, here we have the box for the Ultimate Collector Series, UCS Star Destroyer. Okay, so look in here, we have, it's a 16 plus set, set number is right there. If you need it, 75252. It's the Imperial Star Destroyer. 4,784 pieces, and yeah, so let's take a look at the box art real quick. So for behind here, you can see there's just like greebling and stuff. Um, we actually got the Star Destroyer there, the little Tentive 4 thing, I forget what it's really called. Then you have Tatooine right there, so you got Tatooine with a, it, it looks beautiful, I just gotta say that, it looks absolutely beautiful. So here we have the uh, engines, and under here you can see that where it docks in, Tatooine, Lego Star Wars, and the Collector Series, pretty cool. And right here, it says, do not cut with a box cutter here. Um, okay, here's the back of the box. You can see another angle of the UCS Star Destroyer with the two minifigs and the display stand. Um, in the background, I don't really know what planet this is, I think maybe it was in Mandalorian. I'm not totally sure. And then you have these little sort of like one, two, three, four boxes, you know? So you got this one, it's number one. You have a good angle of the turrets and cannons on the side or sort of on the top side thing. Then here's the bridge, um, the head of the Star Destroyer. Then you can see where it docks in again. This side of the box, you have the uh, dimensions of it. So you can see there it says, tip this over real quick. 26 inches, 65 centimeters. Sorry if that's a little shaky. And then down here you can see it's uh, 43 inches long and 26 inches wide. And right here it says, oh, sorry, 17 inches uh, tall. So yeah, and you can see here they say, yes, you can open the box this way. They want you to open it. Um, from here, um, instead from the other side. So opening this up, you have a great angle from the front with the Tantive IV, um, re recreating the uh, New Hope scene. And then you open this up again, just open this up real quick. You see you have like a little insignia. Um, I think that looks really cool. Um, I'm trying to make this open so I can open this. Okay, and if you open this, and on the bottom, you can see the first of um, a couple, like, little boxes. Okay, so you can see we can uh, take this out. A little difficulty. And you can take this out. Okay. And you can see there are four more boxes here. So, yeah. And that is what holds all the um, bags. And this one down here, which I'll show you in a minute holds the big instruction manual. Okay, you can see on here, open it up like this, and then you have, slide it out, okay. The instruction manual, it's pretty big, okay. Let me just adjust this, okay. So I'm not gonna show you everything, but you have, um, if you open it up, you can see about the designers and stuff, and then you can see, uh, you can see like that about it. Uh, you can see construction, building behind the scenes, and a ton of other stuff. If you want to read through that, you can see all the other Star Destroyers that LEGO ever made. I'm pretty sure that's all of them, but might be wrong. And, yeah, you can see a scene from A New Hope. Um, 
do some more. You can see that. Wow. So yeah, it just goes on for a while. And there's an like absolute ton of pages in this book. Um, so yeah, it's a great build though. I love building it. It was really fun. It, I had something to do like for a while, you know? Um, so yeah, and this, this also looks beautiful here, the manual. I love that. So yeah, as so you can see here, here's the first minifig. Um, it's sort of like a captain general sort of guy. And it's really great fig here. And you get back printing, um, back leg printing, sort of. Um, and then here's the display plaque, which is pretty cool. You can read it, 160 meters for length. Manufacturer is Coat Drive Yards. Um, pretty cool. Moving over here, you have your second minifig with no boot printing. Um, but you can see he does have back printing. Um, so yeah, little arm printing here, both sides. So that's a great fig right there. So for the UCS Star Destroyer, two awesome figures. Would have been great to like see a few more, but this is great. So now we actually have the Tantive 4 build here. Um, and you can see it's a great build. And I'll take it off the little thing so I can show you. So as you can see here, it's like a really great Tantive 4 mini build. And the engines look fabulous. Everything about this looks amazing. And I'll show you in a minute how it docks underneath the Star Destroyer. Okay, so here we are under the Star Destroyer where there's like a little docking bay. Um, and you can stick your Tantive 4 um, right up here. And he clicks right on, not he, but it clicks on right there. And that looks like great. There's also a little TIE fighter up here if you need. Um, so yeah, if you move a little forward, there's like another docking bay sort of thing. But it doesn't really have any use. There's no really ships you can fit in there. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you the booster series. you got one two, three huge boosters, and then you have one, two, three, four little boosters. As you can see, coming up to the head of the Star Destroyer, it looks very clean. Check that out. I'm gonna turn off my light real quick, let's see. There you go. Now there's normal light for it. Looks great, and this is sort of poseable. You can like put that back if you want. I think it looks way better up like that, but it's your choice, definitely. Um, you can see here, there is a way to pick it up, the handle. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But coming up to the front, I'll try to get you a great angle here. One second. Okay, so there it is. And you can see that is where um, the Tantive 4 would go. Right now it's under there. Um, so yeah, there is a line down the middle, but that's gonna be normal for like that because like the designers worked really hard to put this together. You know, put this together, sorry. Um, so yeah, so I'll show you the handle now. To access the handle, you're gonna need to take this off. So gently, you're gonna like sort of pull this off um, and then pull the other one off like that. Um, so yeah, you can see a little bit of the inside. Sorry if it's not that bright, but um, yeah, you can see there it is and yeah. So you can see sort of the inside, and right there, um, you can see how it clicks in to the main Star Destroyer. So how you would hold this is you would put your hand here like this, okay? And you can't lift it up with one hand, definitely not. Um, I would recommend putting your other hand like right here. Um, one second, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so to pick this up, you're going to put your hand here. And then I would recommend putting your hand under this part of the Star Destroyer. And you can lift up, or put your other hand under the Star Destroyer over here, and then lift up. And those are some simple ways to lift up your Star Destroyer. It explains that in the manual, but just uh, wanted to tell you. Yeah, so now I'm going to show you these little gun turrets. Um, they spin in a full 360. All of them spin. Um, this one also spins. It's a little harder because um, it's a little bigger than the other ones. So these three all spin in a full 360. This one does not, like this one right here. Um, so yeah, 
and it's the same on the other side. As you can see here, there's a ton of greebling on the side here. And then you have this little turret, um, sort of moves, you can move it like that. Um, yep, greebling, greebling. Also, you can put the Tantip 4 on the other side if you want to, because it's clipped on. Let me get a good angle this one second. So it's clipped on by um, one of these thingies. I don't know what they're called, but um, yeah, it's right there. And it's also on the other side. So you can put the Tantip 4 on either side. Um, so yeah, that is basically the UCS Star Destroyer. There's a few more things I want to go over and yeah, basically to put these back in, all you need to do is slide it right in and you just gotta click it in. Sometimes it does that. These are sometimes placed too close to this. So if you pull it out, push it in, um, these will pop off, but it's easy fixable, so like really easy. But um, yeah, so this just, wow, I am, wow, okay. I think I need two hands to do this. So for taking those out and putting them back in, definitely use two hands um, to make sure that you don't knock off anything or break anything like I just did a few times. <laughs> um, so yeah, this thing is definitely not meant to move around too much. You basically want to display it somewhere, like I'm displaying it over there, um, and just leave it there. So yeah. So, coming up to the neck here, you've got a really nice neck piece, you know. Um, I, I love these right here. One, two of these. They're amazing. They look so good. Like, literally. I love how they use the um, lever, le lever, little thingies. I don't know what those are really called, but I like how they use those and put them right on the top. It looks fabulous. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you think of the UCS Star Destroyer down in the comments. And if you own this massive thing. Like, honestly. This thing is huge. One other thing I want to mention here is the stand doesn't break too often because there's Technic pieces you can see right there that are clicked right into the actual Star Destroyer. So the stand won't be breaking too much. So yeah, that is the UCS Imperial Star Destroyer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.